Biotechnology may be defined as the use of microorganisms, animals or uh, plant cells or their components to generate products and services useful to human beings. Biotechnology does not mean hunting and gathering animals and plants for uh, food, but domesticating animals like uh, sheep and cattle for uh, use as livestock is an example of biotechnology. Modern biotechnology is often uh, associated with the use of uh, genetically altered microorganisms like E. coli or uh, yeast uh, for the production of substances like um, antibiotics or uh, insulin. This biotechnology can also refer to transgenic animals or plants like uh, Bt cotton. This biotechnology is uh, associated with uh, medical therapies to treat diabetes, hepatitis B, C, cancer, arthritis, etc. The European Federation of uh, Biotechnology has given a definition of biotechnology as uh, the integration of uh, natural science and organisms, cells, parts and uh, molecular analogs for uh, products and uh, services. There are many techniques involved in uh, biotechnology. But the two major techniques uh, which are there in biotechnology are uh, uh, the genetic engineering and uh, maintenance of uh, sterile conditions. The genetic engineering uh, refers to manipulation of nucleic acids, the DNA and uh, the RNA of an organism organisms whose genes have been artificially altered for a desired effect is called as the genetically modified organism. Uh, the second uh, technique is maintenance of uh, sterile conditions in uh, chemical engineering processes in order to enable the growth of only the desired microorganisms the conditions are to be provided uh, for the production of biotechnological products like uh, antibiotics, enzymes, hormones or vaccines. We have to maintain a sterile uh, condition. While sexual reproduction preserves the genetic information, sexual reproduction provides opportunity for uh, variations and uh, formation of a new combination of genetic setup. So some of uh, this may be beneficial to the organisms as well as the population. In the technique of genetic engineering, the desired DNA fragment <coughs> is isolated from the suitable cell of an organism and is uh, transferred into a recipient cell. This DNA fragment would not be able to multiply unless and until it gets integrated into the genome of a recipient. Uh, this is because the DNA of recipient cell has a specific sequence called the origin of uh, replication which initiates the DNA replication. So the integrated DNA fragment replicates and multiplies itself in the recipient cell uh, which is uh, also called as cloning. The basic principles of uh, recombinant DNA technology are uh, very simple and uh, can involve uh, various stages like the generation of uh, DNA fragments and uh, selection of the desired DNA piece. 
insertion of the uh, selected DNA into a cloning vector that is uh, the plasmid to create a recombinant DNA. An introduction of the recombinant vectors into the host cell normally uh, for example it is a bacteria. Multiplication and the selection of clones containing the recombinant molecule and uh, the expression of the gene to produce the desired product. In the technique of genetic engineering, the desired DNA fragment is uh, isolated from the suitable cell of an organism and is uh, transferred into a recipient cell. This DNA fragment would not be able to multiply unless and until it gets integrated into the genome of the recipient. This is because the DNA of the recipient cell has a specific sequence called the origin of uh, replication which initiates the DNA replication. Thus the integrated DNA fragment replicates and uh, multiplies itself in the recipient cell. This is uh, called as uh, cloning. The basic principles of uh, DNA recombinant DNA technology are very simple and uh, involve these uh, basic steps. The first one is generation of uh, DNA fragments and uh, selection of the desired piece of DNA, insertion of the selected DNA into a cloning vector that is the plasmid to create the recombinant DNA, introduction of the recombinant vectors into the host cell uh, vector. The host cell can be a bacteria. Multiplication and uh, selection of clones containing the recombinant molecule and then the expression of the gene to produce the desired product. The first step involved in the recombinant DNA technology is uh, isolation of the genomic DNA. The desired piece of DNA is uh, isolated and then uh, fragmenting this DNA. The next step is the screening the fragments for the desired gene, selecting the desired gene and then in inserting the desired gene fragment into the cloning vector. The cloning vector is a plasmid thereby we create a, a recombinant DNA. Then introducing the recombinant uh, DNA the vector into the competent host cell, normally a bacterial cell and then culturing the cells to obtain multiple copies of the desired DNA fragments. And using these multiple copies, uh, transform the suitable host cells thereby they express the desired gene products. Genetic engineering or uh, recombinant DNA technology can be accomplished only if we have the key tools. The key tools are the restriction enzymes, polymerase enzymes, ligases, cloning vectors and the competent hosts. The first tool is the restriction enzymes. The technique involved in recombinant DNA technology is to cut the desired DNA segment and introduce it into a vector. 
and this is achieved using specific bacterial enzymes uh, called the restriction enzymes or restriction endonucleases these enzymes recognize short sequences of uh, double stranded dna as targets for cleavage different enzymes recognize different but uh, specific sequences is uh, ranging from uh, four to eight base pairs this specific base sequence is known as the recognition sequence to date we have known more than uh, uh, 900 restriction enzymes that have been isolated from uh, various strains of bacteria The first uh, restriction endonuclease, HIND-2, whose uh, functioning depended on a specific DNA nucleotide sequence, was isolated and uh, characterized. Uh, and this HIND-2 was uh, always cut DNA molecules at a particular point by recognizing a specific sequence of six base pairs this specific base sequence is known as the recognition sequence for hind 2 restriction enzymes belong to a larger class of enzymes called the nucleases and they are of two types and exonucleases and endonucleases exonucleases remove nucleotides from the ends of dna but the endonucleases make cuts at a specific site within the dna restriction endonucleases recognize short palindromic sequences and cut at specific sites the palindromic uh, sequences are uh, uh, the sequences of base pairs in double-stranded DNA that read the same backwards and forward across the double strands. When a restriction endonuclease acts on palindrome, it cleaves both the strands of DNA molecules. While some enzymes cut the two strands symmetrically, leaving blunt ends others cut two strands asymmetrically leaving sticky ends only those enzymes that cut the dna and form sticky ends are useful in recombinant dna technology The cutting of DNA by restriction endonuclease results in the fragments of DNA. These fragments can be separated by gel electrophoresis. These uh, DNA fragments are uh, negatively charged molecules, so they can be separated by forcing them to move towards the anode under an electric field through a medium. The most uh, commonly used matrix is agarose, and which is a natural polymer extracted from seaweeds. The DNA fragments separate according to their size through sieving effect provided by the agarose gel. So the smaller the fragment size, the farther it moves. The separated DNA fragments can be visualized only after staining the DNA with a compound known as ethidium bromide, uh, which is followed by exposure to ultraviolet radiation. The separated bands of DNA are cut out from the agarose gel and extracted from the gel piece. So this 
step is uh, called as elution. The DNA fragments purified in this way are used in constructing a recombinant DNA by joining them with uh, cloning vectors. The plasmids and the bacteriophages have the ability to replicate within bacterial cells independent of the control of uh, chromosomal DNA. Bacteriophages, uh, because of their high number per cell, they have the very high copy numbers of their genome within the bacterial cells. Some uh, plasmids may have only one or two copies per cell, but others may have uh, 15 to 100 copies per cell. Vectors are the DNA molecules which can carry a foreign DNA fragment to be cloned. The most important vectors are the plasmids and the bacteriophages. All bacterial cells have uh, plasmids containing low copy numbers or a high copy number and if we are able to link desired piece of DNA with bacteriophage or plasmid DNA, we can uh, multiply its number equal to the copy number of the bacteriophage or the plasmid. Now we will see the features which are required to facilitate cloning into a vector. And the first one is origin of replication, which is uh, also called the replication origin. is a particular sequence in a genome at which the replication is initiated. Any fragment of DNA when linked to this sequence can be made to replicate within the host cell. So this sequence is uh, responsible for controlling the copy number of the linked DNA. The second uh, feature is a selectable marker. Uh, beside the origin of uh, replication, the vector should have a selectable marker. These are the genes which help in identifying and uh, eliminating non-transformants and uh, uh, selectively permitting the growth of the transformants. So they often possess uh, antibiotic resistant genes. They protect the organism from a selective agent like uh, antibiotics that would uh, normally kill it or prevent its growth. The vector should have very few recognition sites for the commonly used uh, restriction enzymes. These uh, antibiotic resistant genes, they possess restriction enzyme recognition sites. If a foreign DNA is cut with a particular antibiotic resistance gene and the plasmid is also, they can be recombined and sealed together with the, the enzyme ligase. Even the recombinants can be selected out from non-recombinant ones by plating the transformants on antibiotic containing medium. The recombinants will grow in the antibiotic containing medium but not on that containing uh, that do not contain this particular antibiotic.
डी एन ए यूजली कैन नॉट गेट एक्रॉस सेल मेम्ब्रेन सिंस इट इज ए हाइड्रोफिलिक मॉलिक्यूल इन ऑर्डर टू फोर्स बैक्टीरिया टू टेक अप द रिकमेंट डी एन ए द बैक्टीरियल सेल्स मस्ट बी मेड कम्पिटेंट टू टेक अप डी एन ए एंड दिस कैन बी डन बाई वेरियस मेथड ट्रीटिंग सेल्स एंड द डी एन ए विद हाई कैल्शियम आयोन इट अलाउज द डी एन ए अपटेक बाई सेल्स हाई कैल्शियम आयोन कॉजेस मेम्ब्रेन चेंजेस दैट रेड्यूज द बैरियर्स टू डी एन ए मूवमेंट रिकमेंट डी एन ए कैन बी फोर्स्ड इन टू बैक्टीरियल सेल्स बाई इंक्यूबेटिंग द सेल्स विद रिकमेंट डी एन ए ऑन आईज फॉलोड बाई placing them briefly at uh, 42 degrees celsius and then putting them back on the ice recombinant uh, dna is directly injected to the nucleus of animal cell through micro injections tiny high velocity particles of uh, tungsten or uh, gold are coated with the recombinant dna and then shot into the cells this method is uh, called as uh, the biolistic or gene gun the last method used in uh, competent host is uh, the use of disarmed pathogens disarmed pathogen vectors like agrobacterium tumefaciense uh, which when allowed to infect the cell transfer the recombinant dna into the host cells